Hey everybody, it's Bill DeRosa from Talking Finger and today we're going to show you how to upload a CSV file. CSV file is saved from many different applications, from your email, your address book you can save as a CSV, um, LinkedIn you can save your contacts as a CSV, things like that. Uh, it basically stands for comma separated value and it's just a simple email list. So if you don't know how to set up a CSV file, um, give us a call or go you can always Google setting up a CSV file. But all right, so I already have my CSV file set up, so I'm going to show you how to actually upload it now and what it means. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your page in the upper right hand corner, you're going to click on edit page. Now this is your control panel for your fan page. Everything you need to control about it is right here. But what we're going to focus on today is uploading that CSV file. So you're going to click resources. And these are all different choices here to do some marketing on Facebook. If you have any question about them, of course, just give us a call. But what we're interested in today is tell your fans. Now, this is silly because they're not your fans yet. You're going to be inviting them to be your fans. So don't get what it's called, but that's what it is. Tell your fans. Now, what you're going to do here, you have a couple of choices here. Find your web email contacts. You can always use your Hotmail or anything else like that. It doesn't support your web-based email yet, but it does support uh, Hotmail, Yahoo. I think it does Gmail as well, things like that. And the important thing to note here is you can upload a maximum of 5,000 contacts. So if you have an email list, for example, that you're um, turning into a CSV file, limit it to 4,500, 4,750. Just make sure you're under that 5,000. Okay, so what we're going to do is, since we already have our CSV file, and you can see up here, um, and there's actually a, how to create a contact file here for information if you need it. But what we're going to do is click Choose File, and I have it right here. This is my V card. Uh, I have Mac Mail. This is how it saves the CSV file. It's called the V card. So I'm going to select that, and I'm going to choose it. Now this pretty much loads by itself. If it doesn't, after a couple seconds, hit that uh, upload. Uh, so here we go, found 2443 contacts who are not yet associated with Talking Finger. So that means these people do not like our page yet. Select contacts you like to invite. Now what I usually do is, this is select all. And then you can always go through here. Now these are all the email addresses I've accumulated uh, in the last I don't know, eight months or so. So there's uh, people in here, and there's things in here that are useless. And you can always back out. So if you don't want to send it to somebody, you just simply unclick. Okay. Uh, it takes a little while to go through 2443. So I pretty much just let them fly. It doesn't matter to me. Preview invitations. So this is what you're going to hit next. And basically, this is telling you two things invitation preview. Now, people who are already on Facebook will see this in the upper corner of their page. And I'm going to show you that later, actually on the home page so you see what it looks like so again people already on Facebook they'll see this on their home feed now an email will be sent to your subscribers who are not on Facebook now what this means is people in that email list who are not on Facebook it will actually invite them you can see check out talking finger and you can read through here um, to see exactly what it's gonna say but that's basically it, it has your uh, sidebar graphic so what you're going to do next is you're going to agree that you have obtained appropriate authorization, basically telling you that you didn't buy this email list and you're just going to be spamming people. It's people who have at least emailed you. You can read some of the guidelines and learn more here. You have to remember to click this and then you would hit send. Now I'm not going to hit send because I already sent out to this list. This was just to show you, but basically once you hit send, it just gives you a message that the invitations had been sent. So where does all of this go? Well, I made up a, a Gmail account that I tested with just to show you how it works. And you'll see here, in, I got an email from Facebook saying to check out Talking Finger. Tells how many people like it and it's inviting you to check them out. And when they open the email, this is basically what they see. You can read it here. So where does it show up on Facebook? Uh, remember the top section of when you were sending out the invitation said uh, it would show recommended pages. This is where it would go. Uh, it goes to their home feed and it's right here, usually under sponsored. 
And it says, William DeRosa, whoever sent it from your company, it'll say, or you, suggest you check out his page. And it gives them the opportunity to both click here to go to your page or hit the like button. So we hope that helps with your Facebook marketing initiatives. If you have any kind of questions at all about this video, Facebook marketing or social media marketing, feel free to visit us on our Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash talking finger. Post any questions that you have uh, right on our wall right here or engage with some of the conversations that are going on right now. But thanks again for watching. We appreciate it. And until next time, take care.